Hello Math Warriors. This is a GED math exam calculator tips and tricks video brought to you by GED Talks. As you know, you will be able to use the TI30XS on the GED math exam. You also might know that you are going to receive a reference sheet to remind you of some of the things that the calculator can do for you. Things like basic arithmetic, scientific notation, mixed numbers, fractions, percentages, powers and roots, and how to toggle from fractions to decimals. But there are also other things that the calculator can help you do. This is one of those videos to teach you how to do one of these other functions with your TI-30XS. You have to remember that it's not going to be on the reference sheet, so if you want to use this tip, you need to make sure that you practice and you remember that this function is on your calculator. One of the first things that I would like to talk to you about when it comes to the calculator is you can take a standard number and convert it to a scientific notation. On the reference sheet, you'll notice that scientific notation is something that they have for you. But this is if you wanted to put a calculation from the scientific notation to the standard notation. So the thing I want to teach you is how to do the opposite. I want to teach you how to convert a standard number to the scientific notation. So one of the first things you're going to have to do is change the setting. Well, before I teach you how to change the setting, I want to teach you how to reset your calculator. So every time you change a setting or maybe you decide to store a value for a variable or maybe you input an equation using the data table and you move on to the next problem, I want to make sure that your calculator has been reset. So one of the ways you can reset your calculator is by hitting the second key which is found in the upper left hand corner and then the zero key. Notice that above the zero in green it reads reset. So when I hit my zero key I'm going to see a short menu asking me do I want to continue with this no or yes. I'm going to hit the number two and my screen now says memory cleared. I'll hit the clear key to get back to my normal screen. If I had my calculator in front of me, my handheld calculator, another way I could clear my screen is by simultaneously holding down the clear and the on key. If you reset this way, you will not see that short menu. It's going to automatically clear. You would just read on your screen memory cleared, hit the clear key to get back to this normal screen. So let's go ahead and move forward with how to convert a standard number to scientific notation. To do this, you need to change a setting on your calculator, as I said earlier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to push the mode key, which is in the first row, second key in. When you press, press the mode key, you will receive or you will see this menu on your screen. Using the arrow keys, you're going to push the down arrow to get to the second row. Use the right arrow so your cursor is hovering over SCI. Once it's flashing there, hit enter so you select that setting. Once that setting has been selected, you'll notice that at the top of your screen, it reads SCI. Now that I have that setting changed, I'm going to hit the clear key to get back to the normal screen. Now all I have to do is enter a standard number, push enter, and it'll show me the number in scientific notation. So let's go ahead and look at some examples. The first example is 3,300. So I'm going to type in 3,300, hit enter, and there is my scientific notation answer, 3.3 times 10 to the third power. Let's look at another one. This one is a decimal, so start with your decimal, 0 .00042, hit enter, and there is the scientific notation answer, 
4.2 times 10 to the negative fourth power. Let's look at a third example. 13,400,000. So I'm going to type in 13,400,000, hit enter, and I get 1.34 times 10 to the seventh power. So there it is, folks, how you can change the setting on your calculator so you're able to convert a standard number to a scientific notation with the calculator. Once again, this isn't on the reference sheet. So if you wanna use this tip on the actual exam, it's something that you're gonna to have to practice and memorize that this is the setting that you would do. Once again, it's with the mode key and you wanna make sure that the SCI is selected. Once that's selected and you go back to your main screen, you'll be able to type in a standard number, hit enter, and then get an answer in the scientific notation. Once again, you guys, always remember it's important to reset after you do these problems so the next question that you receive, you don't mess anything up and it doesn't alter any of your answers. So once again, I'm gonna hit second and then I'm going to hit zero. Yes, I want to clear the memory, there it is, and I'll hit clear to get back to that normal screen. If you like this video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It's what we're here for, GED Talk, teaching you about the different tips and tricks with the calculator and other things that you can do to make sure you pass the GED exams.